Today, I'm gonna be building your craziest Lego ideas and adding them to my Lego room. Starting with one of the dumbest ideas I've ever seen, a working pull-up bar. <laughs> Come on guys, what are you trying to do to me? I think the best way to do this is to build it into the walls across this opening in the doorway. That way, I won't fall. So what I'm gonna do is lock together a bunch of Technic bricks, like these guys, and I'm gonna build a long pull-up bar into the walls, but also around the two x four frame. And hopefully if we layer it like this sorta, it will be strong enough to hold me. But who knows? <laughs> Now I have this big long Technic beam going across. As you can see, this won't hold my weight, so we're gonna add multiple more layers of Technic, and then I'm gonna lock it together with vertical lift arms to make it thick and strong, and then we'll test it out. There it is, so let's install it and see if it works. Here we have the pull-up bar. I made it really, really strong. I guess I'll just uh, see if I can pull myself up. Don't do this at home. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what's not happening right now. Yeah, that was stupid, guys. Why did we think that was gonna work? Literally all of these Technic bricks broke, look at that. Well, that one didn't work, but we got a bunch more Lego ideas to build into the Lego room. Like the next one, which is a Lego soda machine. <laughs> I really like this idea, and I'm thinking we could put it right next to the bed. So that way, when you wake up, you just pour yourself some soda. So first, we gotta get rid of the panel. And then we can take this and build the soda machine into it. My thought is, we put the sodas on the back of the wall panel on a little shelf, and then on the front, we'll have three tubes that go through, and we'll also have three buttons for the different types of soda. I'm gonna take off these labels because we're gonna need them later. The best way to force the soda out of the bottle is to pump air into the bottle. So we need to put two holes in this cap and make it watertight. Now we'll poke our pneumatic Lego tubes through. The blue tube is going to be connected to our air. And then our black tube is gonna go all the way down into the soda. Now the difficult part, making a air pump. So I'm gonna grab a battery box and then we're gonna need some switches. So what we wanna do is make this into a button because right now it's a switch. And then we'll just need some sort of Lego rubber band or something to turn this into a button. And there we go, as you can see, there we have a button. Now we just need to take this motor and build a pneumatic pump with it. You just take one of these little guys, which is a pneumatic actuator, and then by connecting two of these discs together, we can make a little circular cam. Now, when we spin this cam, it opens and closes the pneumatic actuator, which is extremely cool. So if we connect our motor like this, that's pumping air through this. Connect this guy to our blue tube, and see if it pumps. So when we take our cup and we push it against the button, it pumps air, and this should start squirting into the cup. There we go. Now this is great, but the main problem it has is when you undo it, it keeps going. It probably won't be that big of an issue. We can just fix it later. So this is great. We just need to build two more of these and then mount it behind this wall. So I'm gonna start by building up a little shelf on the back of this for the soda bottles to sit. Now we gotta install our buttons in the front. And the reason I saved the labels is because we can actually cut them out and make buttons on the front so we know which soda is where. Now that we got our buttons on here, they each have logos on them. And on the back, you can see some places for Technic axles. So when we stick one through, it's pressable. We just need to make it so this piece on the back presses into the trigger. Now we just need to make a few little small tweaks, attach this to here, and theoretically this thing will actually work. Nice. I have not tried this with sparkling yet. We shall see. Oh no. The fizzy is not working. Oh shoot. It's leaking out the front. Well, this is a huge issue. The carbonated water is some, for some reason going up the tubes without pressure in there. Okay guys, I think I come up with something really genius. This is a self kinking mechanism. And as soon as you flick the switch, it kinks it like that and holds it. We just gotta put it in between the soda valve and the output. All right, I think I finally fixed the problem. Now it's time to test it out and I'm really hoping it works. So as you can see right here, we have our soda machine. I also bought this cool Lego cup. It's official Lego. We have a little stand and lucky for us, it doubles as the battery box. We can actually turn it on. We have three different types of soda. We have Mountain Dew. And if I turn that on, there's Mountain Dew coming out there. <laughs> Look at that. We also have Coca-Cola. So we can close off that one and turn on the Coca-Cola valve. Should've tested that one before I put it behind the wall. It does work, it's just a little bit slower on this one because of a leak in the top of the thing, but it is putting Coca-Cola into the cup. And last but not least, we have Sprite here. So we can push that in, and as you can see, putting Sprite into our cup. Then when we're done, all we gotta do is just pinch off these little valves. And boom, we have a cup of soda. Mixed flavor. It's not terrible. <laughs> 
I like these buttons too. The mechanism for this worked really, really well. You can just push it and it springs right back. It's actually really satisfying. Almost gave up on this one, but I pushed myself and I persevered and I was finally able to get the mechanism to work. So that was actually a pretty cool idea. Thanks for commenting. The next idea I want to build actually comes from Christian behind the camera. <laughs> so Christian's idea was to build a hidden computer inside this desk. Isn't that right, Christian? <laughs> yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do is make a little hole and then have an iPad that can slide in and fold up with the keyboard underneath, that way it'll actually be hidden. But the first thing you gotta do is take out a chunk of this desktop so that we can actually fit it in here. And while I'm doing that, I can tell you about this video's sponsor, Paperlike. Paperlike is an iPad accessory that makes drawing on a screen feel like you're drawing on paper. Without Paperlike, it just feels like a screen. It feels like you shouldn't be touching it. And then with Paperlike, Definitely feels like paper. <laughs> Paperlike uses a unique nano dot surface to match the feel and sound of drawing on actual paper. Now we've got a hole cut out for this, we got the keyboard in there, it can fit. Now I just gotta figure out how to hinge this thing on here so that it will close and hide the entire thing. I've been using my iPad for about a year now to draw all these blueprints you see in my videos. That way I can visually plan out my designs. And I realized pretty quick just how uncomfortable and unsatisfying it is to use an Apple Pencil on the bare screen. It just doesn't glide over the screen smoothly enough to get precise lines. Bring in Paperlike and you can literally feel the difference. Having a nice surface to draw on that's more glidey can enhance your illustrations and make your lines smoother. What I'm thinking is we just have a straight up hole in the desk and then we add our keyboard right there. And then to put the iPad in there so it folds down, we just slide it in from the top. These double hinges will make it go underneath and then just sit pretty flush like that. Now, when we open this up, we can pull it up and over. And now we just need to figure out a quick way to tie this in. Paperlike comes with all the application tools you need to install it, and it's relatively simple to install. You can also see it reduces some of the glare you would get with just the actual screen, which is really nice. I think the important thing is that you just don't push super hard on the paper light with your Apple Pencil. That way it doesn't create any scratch grooves. But for me, it works really well and makes it a lot more satisfying to do drawing on my iPad. So if you want to get a paper like for yourself, you can go to paperlike.com slash brick science or click the first link in the description to get yours. And they ship worldwide, so happy drawing. So heavy. There. All right, now check this out, guys. As you can tell, it's completely hidden. No one would think that there's a hidden computer inside this. It doesn't even look like much from the bottom. It's just a tiny little area. So we did a pretty good job making it flush. So to get into it, all you have to do is just push down this little button and then you can lift up the monitor. And this thing is a little jank. But once you get it over like this, it just leans back, and boom, there you go. As you can see, it totally works. You can you can totally type on here. And we can watch YouTube videos. It, it works. It's like a hidden computer. You can draw on it, just put it into drawing mode, and boom. This is the thing we just made, as you can see. Success. And then when you're done, you just store it, and it's down, and it's just a little finicky, but it does go in. <laughs> These Legos are kind of tight. And it's totally hidden in the desk surface, just like that. So there we have our hidden computer inside the Lego desk. Honestly, this desk is getting better and better. I say we add a cup holder soon to the side or something. <laughs> Somebody write that in the comments so I can add it. The next idea is to build a Lego basketball. And so I was thinking, what if I built a basketball hoop on this wall, and that way I can throw stuff into it from the Lego bed. I'm just gonna start with the hoop part and then work from there. We grab some of these orange one by fours and we connect a bunch of them like this. We're basically gonna build a wall and then we're gonna arrange these pieces in such a manner that it will bend. And boom, now we have a wall. Check this out. To curve it, the pieces can stretch a little bit. So we can make a hoop by just continuing this all the way around. And it'll be orange so it'll look cool. Now we got this, we just fold it all the way around and loop it together at the end. Hey, there we go. We have a basketball hoop. Now, it's a bit flimsy, so I'm just gonna add one more layer all the way around to lock everything together. And I attach this into the wall, we'll just take off a one by four, and then we just throw this on here like that, and this should hold it together pretty strongly. We can even make a smaller ring inside of this hoop, that way we can get like extra points. And now for a ball, we got these guys, and they come with official Lego McDonald's balls. I kind of wish I could unsay that. But anyway, this is an official Lego ball from the McDonald's Happy Meal toy or something. Now we can install this in the Lego room. And there you go, guys. As you can see, we have our Lego basketball hoop right there. We can grab our ball and see if we can make it from here. Ah, oh, so close. This could be a fun game, like try and hit it from the bed. I'm gonna try and make the blue. Ah, oh, so close. Yay, there we go. There aren't a lot of activity. That's not even true. There's a claw machine right here. There's not a whole lot of like sports activities in here, so that's pretty cool that we can just toss stuff in the hoop. Wow, I really suck. <laughs> and then this thing gets lost under the bed. There's actually a lot of room under there. We should do something under there in another video. Comment down below if you wanna see a hidden gaming fort underneath the Lego bed in the Lego room. That'd be kinda cool, hidden Lego gaming fort. We've never done that before. 
No one's ever done that before. <laughs> It'd be really uncomfortable. The next idea is to build a Lego cereal machine. I'm thinking what we do is we put this right by the bed. That way when we wake up, we can just have some Lego cereal dispensed into a bowl or whatever. The way I'm gonna build this is just like the ones I have in my studio, except these ones are actually used for dispensing Lego parts. All it is is a little silicone wheel, and when you turn it, it just drops some in a cup. So we just need to figure out how we're gonna make one of those in Lego for our Fruit Loops. So we need to get some clear pieces and build some sort of tube. I like to be able to see the cereal, so maybe if we use some of these rounded guys, we start building this up on a plate just to get the shape we want. Perfect. This will hold our cereal nicely. Now we need to build a box underneath it that'll house the little paddle to actually make it go down. Now to make it as easy as possible for the cereal to flow down, I'm gonna add some slopes to the inside of this box. You know, I've never built a cereal machine before, but uh, this is how I assume it would work on the inside. Now that we got this, we're gonna need a paddle that will fit in a four x four hole. I'm thinking we use some of these Technic pieces and just build a three wide paddle. As you can see, I use some rubber pieces. So we're gonna add this to the bottom of this. Now, does it work? What? We'll try again. Here we have prototype two. It's just the rubber pieces. Oh, come on. I think this is still somehow too big. Prototype three. Why? Oh, stop. No, wait. <sighs> Prototype four. Still getting stuck. Wait, I think I have it, guys. One last try. Prototype five, four, one of those. We have the new twisty mechanism. This one, you actually twist back and forth like this. It works, you guys, really, really well, yeah. So now we need to build the bottom part of this, which is gonna have a little ramp, and it'll just slide right into the cup. We just gotta put this thing right on top like that. Last thing I'm gonna do is just take the box and cut out some sections of the logo so that I can stick it on the sides. All right guys, it's finally time to test out the Lego cereal machine. First, we gotta fill her up with cereal. Oh, didn't spill a single one. Snap this guy right on top like that. And I was thinking I just put this thing right here on my nightstand. You can see there we have the Fruit Loops logo on the side. This thing looks like a cereal machine. It looks cool. And we can actually test it out and make some cereal. Oh, wait. A little bit of milk. <laughs> All right, now we're good. And we can just put the cereal right in the bowl like this. <laughs> you know, not bad, you guys. I really thought it'd be less functional than this, but it seems to be working. When it jams, you just crank it hard crack up those ones in there, and they just fall right down there like that. Okay, honestly, I didn't think this would work, but now we have cereal. I got a lot of sugar. Yeah, I thought this would be pretty lame, but the fact that it works makes it a lot better. Lego cereal machine is actually a pretty fun idea, so thank you for that. Now I just got like the wall of sugar over here. <laughs> The next idea you guys had was to build a Lego train track around the walls. And I can't even credit this to one person individually because so many people commented to do this. Now it's possible, but there are a few small things and one of them is pretty large. It's a little too close to the wall to go all the way around. But what we could do is move that shield and then go all the way around this corner over the window. And then I was thinking we could have a little spot where we could do crash tests with a little target on the ground so the train can go all the way around and then fall to its demise. <laughs> First thing we need to do is remove all the panels on the second row so that we can implement the train tracks. So we have to integrate the train tracks into each one of these panels. And I know, brightness 3000, I'm trying. <laughs> All we're gonna do is split these in half like this. Then we're gonna take out a layer and replace it with some sticks that jut out. And then we can put our train tracks right on top like this. So that's not the most strong thing. What I'm gonna do is grab some struts and we're gonna connect these to each one of the joists to make a triangle. That's gonna make it a lot stronger, you guys. So now that we know how we're gonna build all the flat panels, we'll just duplicate this layout on all 12. And for the corner, we just need to build a system that'll hold the curve tracks. So if we build one of those with four of these guys, now we just need to move this to the center down here. To make sure I'm getting the right placements on the backside, I'm using a dry erase marker. And then I can just mark where the pieces need to go. And when I take this apart, I know to remove that brick, that brick, that brick. And this is really helpful when you're working in large scale because you forget as soon as you take it apart where it was supposed to go. <laughs> works. Now we've got all of the track panels built up. We just have to install them back on the wall and then we can install the train tracks, but we're really close. Now that we've got all the track wall panels installed, all we have to do is snap down the tracks on top 
and add a few finishing touches like a target on the ground and the actual train that's gonna go on the tracks. As you can see, we have a lot of trains left from the crash testing LEGO trains video, like the Orient Express. For the crash test, I'm gonna use this chassis. We can put this right up here. And we can put some cabis behind it. Here we go, the moment we've all been waiting for. You can see this thing is really holding. We gotta see if it makes it all the way across to here to drop onto the target. Here we go, guys. We're going, we're going. Oh. Oh, that was awesome. I completely missed the target because it went a little faster than I was expecting, but wow. Oh, I forgot to put Ooblot in it. Missed opportunity, guys. I got the Orient Express up here. I think it'll look really cool. Thank you very much for your great ideas, you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Check out one of these two videos popping up on the screen, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.